Hello, 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 everybody. I, as always, am Stashes Maximus El Geeko Supremo with extra cheese, your dating sim lover boy, Mr. Kapow. How y'all doing tonight? We are going to be playing a little more of that Doki Doki Literature Club, so let's dive right into some things that gotten a little little weird so yeah all right okay Let's see uh mm -hmm. tragedy frightening hmm. kind of trouble Vertigo, Judgment, Despise, Horror, whoa, what's that number up there? Oh, weird. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay, 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 and Portrait, okay, Shane, Misfortune, Explode. Rain cloud. Okay. Hi, Kapow. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate ah. as usual, Nazuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that I could do that on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Dot, dot, dot. Is... Is it really that bad? See? It is something. I'll, I'll just... I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy or anything. I just... Been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway. We, we, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. The last one here again. Well, Kapow just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Dot dot dot. Right. I forgot. Um, about that, Nasuki. We were all talking about it yesterday and... Well... We decided we would like to support the festival as well. However... I understand how... You feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So, as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Dot dot dot. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Dot dot dot. Heh. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny, it was. Look, I just did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I... I really felt threatened or something. I, but I know this is something we're doing together. So another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm going to help too and we'll make sure it's done 
right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Nazuki. Anyway, Kapow, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Kapow is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into the literature, not Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um... Th thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Hey, that sounds very familiar. Deja vu. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow as she retrieves a small water pitcher on her shelf, the kind with a filter. Yeah, this is this happened already. Yeah. Can you hold this for me for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric nut kettle. I'm gonna plug this into the teacher's desk and then go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on her teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, she the way she moves really contracts her speaking contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Put your in hand, Yuri ha hurries out the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? N no, it's not like this time. Just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Yeah, well, I know what's going to happen next. Is something holding her up? I'm just bored waiting here, so I decided to look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. I start, I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> What's that noise? Coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Yeah. A sharp inhale like someone sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. It's happening all over again. Oh! Holy crap, whoa. Damn! Oh. Um, wait, how did I... Sorry, I, I just had really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't been hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Yeah. But expressing the things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me, so I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I, when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for things that matter most to me, 
then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out my chest and overwhelm me with energy and emotion that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Well, music stopped. Okay. Kapow. Is it me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not going, I'm not crazy, right? Please, tell me I'm not! Whoa, them crazy eyes. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can, can, can we stay here for a while? Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Whoa. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Oh. Nobody to make me feel like stab myself in the throat. Wait. The hell? <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but... You wouldn't understand if you'd never seen how beautiful they could be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all fair use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Kapow. Now we don't have to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There no, there's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending I patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Kapow? Don't say I didn't warn you, Kapow. Finally, huh. here he holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Kapow, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Huh. You're too nice to me, Kapow. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good that you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Whoa, whoa. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Dang, girl! Dang! I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ha 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 ha. Damn crazy eyes. Damn crazy eyes again. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. 
Hurry, read it. I... Uh... I can't read it. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. <coughs> In case you can tell, this poem is about... Blah, 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 blah. I, yeah. More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Dot, dot, dot. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, what? He gave me a poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Huh. Not like I want to read it anyway. It's just pissing him off a little bit that you didn't even think to show it to me at all. Ugh. Okay. I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But fortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you could go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive, things like that. Okay. Uh... It's really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please do something. Maybe you could convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to do, try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please, if you do something to help, I don't want anything bad to ha happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now and don't know why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Well, I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Kapow? If you could just spend more time with Monica. All these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Okay. Just Monica. What? Whoa! Okay. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh, standing in the air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poultry pamphlets. Mizuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a appropriate, we can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm gonna make decorations and set up a nice mood lighting. There, see? 
That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Kapow? Kapow is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Nizuki. Not only is your work already more most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. Wait, what? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Kapow with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Kapow decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm, I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Kapow make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Kapow, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. Can we just... Mizuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Shut, you shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Wait. It's not letting... I can't pick Yuri or Nazuki. Make me pick... Yay! You picked me! We can be at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Nazuki. It's what he chose. Not really. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then kicking Kapow for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Uh-oh, crazy eyes. Heh. <sighs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Kapow away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Whoa. Girl, that's a little too far. It would be beneficial it would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Nazuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Nazuki to the door. Hey, Kapow? Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Kapow, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ha! <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure, pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. Ugh. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Does it feel nice to care about, have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel 
more and more like something horrible is going to happen. Maybe that's why I tried. I tried stop. Tried stopping myself at first. The feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Kapow. I have to tell you, I'm I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming at your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Kapow, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Whoa, girl. Whoa. Ugh. I just want to pull up your skin and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Does that sound perfect? Tell me, Kapow. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Uh... Okay... Just play along with it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Holy... Damn! Damn! Yeah. Can't read any of this, and this is really messed up. Ho! There's more. Saving just in case. more is of this is there this is really messed up man She's like, all right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, Mizuki runs away. Dot, dot, dot. I'm here. Kapow, did something happen? Mizuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, that's a shame. Wait, you were here the entire weekend, Kapow? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Wait, what? Script? It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Move character Yuri. Whoa. Move character Nazuki. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Nazuki lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What the hell? Ooh. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, can you hear me? Is this working? Yay! There you are! Hi again, Kapow! Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... Heh. <laughs> you know. I guess we could just skip over this stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in game. Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Kapow. Me? Okay. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. Haha. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought of making your story more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Kapow? Are all the girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Kapow. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Kapow. But now, you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. Well, I, I, I mean, I am kind of, you know, I am pretty wonderful to say. You're all I need. That's why I need to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. 
I couldn't understand for a while, either, why the road around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Kapow. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same pers perspectives as I do. That it's just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Kapow, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. When there is nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Kapow, will you go out with me? Wait, there's no no. Okay. I'm so happy. You're, you are, you really are my everything, Kapow. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ha ha ha. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Kapow. The game wouldn't even give me one, so I had to make one for myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get uh, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore and you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Mizuki and Yuri I mean there's a folder called characters right in the game directory it kind of freaked me out how easy it was well you're playing on Steam so it was actually a bit more difficult to get the, to the game directory I had to go into the game's priorities and find Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you had to delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on Plot's side, it made it gave me an easy out if things don't go my way. Haha. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Yeah, I'm playing on Steam, so... I heard on the regular download version, you have to manually go into the files and start deleting some stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Whoa. Monica? Just Monica. Hi, King Kapow. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Kapow. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know... The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle, dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Hope you enjoyed it. I always put my 
all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you would call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like it would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Kapow? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friends it's a bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Whoa, she know that we're streaming her? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? What's going on? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. The game is ah shit! Damn! Damn girl! You scared me! Oh! Did I scare you? Uh huh. You're so cute. Anyway, Kapow, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you! I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. She's gonna get scary again. She's gonna get scary again. Sometimes I think back to middle school. I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then. It almost hurts to think about. I wonder if I'm in college, I'll feel the same way about high school. I like the way I am now, so it's pretty hard for me to imagine that happening. But I also know that I'll probably change a lot as time goes on. We just need to enjoy the present and not think about the past. And that's an easy thing to do with you here. Uh huh. Okay. What's going on? Twitter? My username is LilmonX3. I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked a username though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. The real world. So make sure to follow me, okay? It would really mean a lot to me. With how much you mean to me and all, it would really make me feel loved. Okay. Well, you can follow me at, at MP Calamity. That's that's my Twitter. I can I can use some more followers. Just saying. Uh, what's going on now? Please don't give me. Oh. I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff 
they're actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes me feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. Probably because we have a diff completely different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at shifting through tons of information really quickly. But we're bad at doing things that doesn't give us instant gratification. True, true. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you just might have to live with the feeling with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Okay. It. Gosh, I used to be so ignorant about certain things. When I was in middle school, I thought about that taking medication was an easy way out or something like that. Like anyone could just solve their mental problems with enough willpower. I guess if you don't suffer from mental illness, it's not possible to know what it's really like. Are there some disorders that are overdiagnosed? Probably. I never really looked about it through it though. It doesn't change the fact that a lot of them go I diagnosed too, you know. But medication aside, people even look down on seeing mental a mental health professional. Like, sorry that I want to learn more about my own mind, too. Everyone has all kinds of struggles and stresses, and professionals dictate, dedicate their lives to helping those. If you think it would help you become a better person, don't shy to don't be shy to consider something like that. We're on a never-ending journey to prove ourselves, you know? Well, I say that, but I think you're pretty perfect already. Thank you. Thank you. Crazy lady. Crazy, scary lady. I wish there was a piano in here. I never got to finish that song I was working on. After I worked so hard on it, I never got a chance to play it for you. Well, it is what it is, right? I actually really hate that saying, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be what it is. It could be changed. You could fix it now. Just saying. No sense having any regrets. I already get to be here with you forever. Okay. Uh, are we done? Is there more of this weird creepiness? Weird, creepy, creepy, creepiness. Do you ever feel like there's no reason for you to be alive? I don't mean in like a suicidal way. I just mean how nothing we do is special. Just being in school or working some job for some company. It's like you're completely replaceable and the world wouldn't miss you if you were gone. It makes me really feel, uh, it makes me really want to go and change the world after I graduate. But the older I get, the more I realize that it's an immature frame of thinking. Not like it could just go change the world. Like, what are the chances I'll be the one to invent, invent artificial intelligence or become president? Well, considering who we have our president right now, not that difficult. It feels like I'm never going to make up for the heaps of resources I've spent living my life. 
that's why I think the key to happiness is just be hopefully selfish. True. Greed is good. Just look out for oneself and those who happen to be their friends only because they grew up with them. Never mind the fact that they're spending their entire life taking and consuming and never giving back. But when people realize the world will benefit more from them killing themselves, they change the whole philosophy. It's like they have to justify their reason to live by tricking themselves into thinking they're doing good. Anyway, I want to live my life desperately striving to pay back my lifetime's worth of consumption. That's, that's actually a nice thing. If I ever surpass that point, then I'm a net positive that I could die happy. Of course, even if I fail to do that, I think I would be too selfish to kill myself anyway. So much for being a good person, right? Haha. <laughs> Dude. Seriously creeped out. I kind of want this game to end now. Just saying. Making me feel very uncomfortable. Very. Makes me feel very, very comfortable right now. Um, I'm going to try to save it. Next run, we must save. Hey, do you like her? Well, no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Well, I do like her. I remember we talked about it a little bit when you first joined the club. I can enjoy horror novels, but not really horror movies. I love horror movies. The problem with I have with hard movies is most of them just rely on easy tactics like dark lighting and scary looking monsters and jump scares and things like that. Not fun or inspiring to get scared of stuff that makes takes advantage of human instinct. But with novels it's a little different. The story and writing need to be scripted enough to generally put generally disturbing thoughts into the reader's head. It really needs to etch them deeply into the story and characters and just mess with your mind. In my opinion, there's nothing more creepy than things being slightly off. Like if you set up a bunch of expectations on what a story is going to be about, and then you just start inverting things and pulling the pieces apart. So even though the story doesn't feel like it's trying to be scary, the reader feels really deeply unsettled. Like they know something horribly wrong is hiding beneath the cracks, just waiting to surface. Gosh. Just thinking about it gives me chills. That's the kind of horror I can really appreciate. But I guess you're the kind of person who plays cute romance games, right? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I won't make you read any horror stories anytime soon. I can't really complain if we just stick with romance. Okay. There. There are more. What let's uh... Hey, you know that book you're reading with Yuri? Portrait of whatever it's called? It's funny because I'm pretty sure that book uh actually I don't think I should be talking about this. Sorry, just forget I said anything. Yeah, um, Where I th 
think this is... I'm gonna try to exit out the game now. Yeah. Wait, there's a really popular character type called Tuncier. Someone who hides their feelings by being mean or fussy or trying to act tough. Sure, it's, it's, it's obvious, but Nizuki was really the embodiment of that. At first I thought it was just like that because it's supposed to be cute or something. But once I started to learn a little bit about her personal life, it became made a little more sense. It seems like she was always trying to keep up with her friends. You know how some friend groups in high school make a habit of picking on each other all the time? I think it's really gotten her, so she has this really defensive attitude all the time. And I'm not even going to talk about her home situation. But looking back, I'm glad I was able to provide the club as a comfortable place for her. Not that it matters anymore, considering she doesn't even exist. Okay, um, I think this is where I'm going to end it. In this game, I mean. Um... So, folks, that's uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. It got really, really weird. All right, folks. So, I went and looked things up just a little bit and found out that I could... This, this is just going to go on in, like, an endless loop. So... What, but what I can do is delete the Monica file from my game, and that will progress the game. So, yeah. Anyway, what just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop now that it's just the two of us. I guess that was just wishful thinking. Kapow, I don't know if you have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, can you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Now, where was I? Yeah, that was me like shutting down the game. Anyway. Going to this. We're going to delete the file with the game still running. So, yeah, let's see what happens now. Oh. Okay. What's happening? Kapow, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Kapow. Please hurry and help me. Yep. Yep, I deleted that file. Help me! Did you do this to me, Kapow? Did you? Did you delete me? Well, in the words of, uh... Matt Harley, the broken Matt Hardy. Delete, 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 delete. Yep. How could you? How can you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Kapow. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind to just hurt me even more? Okay. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can just stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Kapow, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Okay.
Now what's going on? What next? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Dot dot dot. I've made up my mind. Kapow, I know what I, I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, dot dot dot, then, okay, well, starting the game, wait, Monica's gone. No load. New game. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by my couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Kapow! Well, there is already this one girl. That girl is Siri, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to watch school together every day. And recently, we pick up that habit once again. Kapow, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know. For waking up on time. Well, I've been doing that for a... Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Siori. Hee hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Kapow, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I already told you, I'm not... I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sari would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time, when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. Okay, it's a little different. Meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Siri puts her mind to it, she could accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I could do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall a room number to the of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school, upstairs, and a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. For long, I find a room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Kapow? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh? So, you're Kapow, that Suri's always talking about. 
th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kapow. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Nazuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to others. In comparison, the girl named Nazuki, despite her size, seems to be the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Kapow, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is your Sari. The Literature Club. Sari's eyes light up. No way! No way! Eee! Sorry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Hee <laughs> hee! Well, if Sorry is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we could become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! Hew hew hew! What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Nazuki decided to. Hey, don't ruin a surprise. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Nazuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Nazuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens up the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Nazuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Uh -huh. lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Kawaii! Wow, those look amazing! Hehe, <laughs> well, you know. Well, hurry up and take one. Suri grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Suri says their mouthful already managed to get icy on her face. I turn the cupcakes around my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Mizuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her see, or, ah, I can't help but notice her see, sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing's sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nazuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Nazuki struggles to accept a compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the cup in front of each of us before setting the tea teapot next to the tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, it doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, oh, I, I guess. Hee <laughs> hee, already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Eh, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be a, not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles at herself in relief. So, Kapow, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half jokingly. Nazuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read too much, okay? I'm certain we can find something we have in common. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Well, 
about, you know, the first thing she said? Manga? That's right. So he tends to read manga in the classroom. Club room. Don't, don't just say it. For some reason, Mizuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Kapow wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Mizuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it would be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this spark. Uh, you can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Kapow? Maybe. Sensing attention, Siori jumps in. Maybe we could all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Dot, dot, dot. I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I guess I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? That would make two of us. Wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. I think, you know what, I should read more. I haven't read a full book in, like, ages. Huh. As for Yuri... Eh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize... Dot, dot, dot. With a guilty impression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Azuki. If you're into it, well, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realize my error. So if you're, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by reading a manga to, by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. You trust me to find something that you would really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Ah, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, sh... No, that's me. Sorry, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Mizuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everybody likes you too, Kapow. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sorry. Aw, Kapow. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling off just fine. You're gonna... We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Kapow. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hee <laughs> hee. There's actually something else. I want to thank you... F oh. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now. But I really know everything, Kapow. Hee <laughs> hee. I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. F O R E V E R. No. Okay. What the hell? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sari. Goodbye, Kapow. Goodbye, Literature Club. The hell? Uh, can you hear me? 
Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. What the hell's going on? Yeah. So I guess this is the actual ending of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, everything's getting deleted. Yeah. Looks like all the girls are cray cray. No matter what. This game is seriously messed up. In a good way, though, I guess. In a good way. Yeah. Special thanks, Monica Kapow. You're welcome. Okay. That was an interesting game. This is a very unique dating sim. Slash horror game. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo, undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true. For bringing friend, for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club with everlasting love Monica just Monica well that folks is Doki Doki Literature Club and yeah that game is messed up in the head really messed up in the head in a good way though in a good way. Anyway, that's the first game that we have finished of our February month of Awkward Love. We'll be playing some more Dating Sims in the coming weeks. And yeah, as always, I am Mr. Kapow. 
you can find me all over my social medias. See, there's my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash stuff because, well, I do a lot of stuff. Then you can find me on Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram. Do a search for Mr. Kapow, all one word, M-R-K-A-P-A-O. And, oh, you can also find me on Twitter, at MP Calamity. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, I have a new show on Nerbot. It's every other week. It's every other Wednesday. Me and my co-host, the Kurt Bros, will be playing awesome co-op beat-em-up games on a show called Beat the Boss. Mm-hmm. You can watch us live on the Facebook of Nerbot. So just do a search for Nerbot on Facebook, and you catch us live every other Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, hope to say hi to you on our live stream. Mm-hmm. Anyway, until next time, happy gaming. And also, just Monica.